Hey everyone, um, sorry for the smoke. I'm smoking a cigarette. Yes, sorry about that. Hope everybody's doing well and having a good day. Um, I'm gonna go and just call this vlog, I guess, um, living with a chronic illness. Um, uh, I'm 22 years old. My name's Elizabeth. Um, most people, I go by my nickname's Pikachu because I, I have friends who state that. I'm cute and cuddly like Pikachu until I get pissed off and then they swear they see uh, lightning bolts flash from my eyes, so that's why that's a thing. Um, sorry about the, you know, crazy hair. I just got up a little bit ago and haven't really started my morning routine yet. Um, so basically why I'm wanting to post this video is just to kind of give everybody a little bit background of my chronic illnesses. I have actually quite a few. Um, the ones that affect me daily are diabetic peripheral neuropathy type 1 diabetes, um, high blood pressure, chronic kidney disease, and diabetic nephropathy. Um, it's kind of hard to explain because I still kind of don't understand a lot of them. Basically, the two kidney problems are just the early stages of kidney failure because of my diabetes. Um, diabetic neuropathy or the peripheral neuropathy affects my legs and my hands. I actually have no feeling in either of my hands. Um, it actually get, got freezing cold here in Colorado yesterday, and I, my hands were frozen, and I didn't even know. But I kind of wanted to talk about the neuropathy, because there are a lot of people I've seen who are like, oh, I'm having these weird symptoms, and I'm not really sure if it's, you know, it could be fibromyalgia, it could be, you know, something else. I mean, always go to your doctor. Please, 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 for my benefit and yours, go to your doctor if you're having weird symptoms because it's better to get it early than to get it late. Um, the neuro For me, diabetic peripheral neuropathy, I have constant burning, shooting pains up my legs all the time. Um, I have a lot of falling spells, so um, right now I'm unable to work because of this because I would rather not fall at my job. <laughs> I've actually been kind of looking into like work from home and things like that, trying to find something and I'm getting a lot of scams and whatnot, but I'm hoping eventually something shows itself. But living with a chronic illness, whether it's fibromyalgia, diabetes, you know, cancer, things like that, it's not easy for anybody. I mean, I'm 22 years old and I, I feel like an 80 year old. I have to walk with a cane because I'm, my legs hurt so bad to put pressure on the bottom of my feet. My hands are always numb to the point where I can't feel them. Like I can burn myself and I don't even notice it until friggin I look at my hand and see that there's a friggin blister. But the daily struggles are my thing. I'm all, I have to take a uh, gabapentin, uh, pretty much 600 milligrams a day, and I don't feel like it helps like it should. Like, everybody's like, oh, I take it, it works wonderful, I love it. Well, I don't particularly like it because it makes me really tired, and it doesn't really help the neuropathy. Like, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to deal with, but I still hurt, and I still, like, clothes hurt me. Cold any kind of cold weather comes through and I'm freaking in agony pain. And I just, I really hate it. Like, I don't like having pain. I don't like not being able to help people. I mean, my current living situation, you know, I have rent to pay like everybody else. I have bills to pay. I know there are people with diabetic peripheral neuropathy that go to work every day and just suffer through the pain, but I am such a big baby when it comes to pain. I mean, I injure my ankle and I swear to God it's ripped off. So, but this pain is a lot different than any of the pain I've ever felt because it's constant. I have these constant burning, shooting pains going through my legs and my legs will randomly go numb to the point that I fall because my legs just give out from under me. I mean, last night my fiance friggin' was, you know, pain at giving me and him were coming down to, you know, smoke our cigarettes. And I noticed that I was having a lot of pain and then all of a sudden I just fall and then my legs were tingling and I was like okay so apparently my legs went numb and tingle like usually they tingle a little bit and then they'll go numb so it kind of gives me a heads up of hey you need to sit down but last night it just all of a sudden I fell down and then my legs started to tingle and they were numb and I was like oh this is great I'm gonna friggin hurt myself 
And then this morning, I was coming down our stairs because we do have, you know, some stairs in our house with my cane. And I kept getting this feeling like I was going to fall. And I was kind of scared at first because usually my, you know, like I said, my legs tingle and then they go numb and fall. But I kept almost falling and my fiance had to help me over to our couch. Like, this is the major reason why I'm not working right now is just the fact that I keep you know, falling, having random leg numbing spells and having to hurry and sit down. And that's like my major downfall, I guess, is the fact that I keep falling and I have no way to stop it. I have no way to help it. Like, oops, sorry. I'm basically just stuck suffering because I can't do anything else. And I'm so tired of constantly feeling like I'm getting in people's way and I'm not helping out contribute in my household. And I mean, I I feel like a terrible person all the freaking time because I can't help everybody like I should. And I guess the easiest way to put it is there's a lot of days I feel like giving up on life, giving up on everything, because I figure maybe if I do that, then everybody will be happier. Everybody will be, you know, not have to deal with this like I do. And every, all, I'm so tired of people saying, oh, it can't be that bad. You just got diagnosed. Like, you don't understand the nerves in your body are sensitive. They are freaking any touch, any sm- any feeling, anything like that goes through your nerves. And when your nerves are hurt or your nerves are, you know, broken like mine, you're in constant agony. And I tell everybody, okay, you think it's not that bad. I want you to live in my shoes for a day. And good luck with that because shoes hurt my feet. And the only sh- shoes I can wear are my slippers. And I can't wear those in the freaking Colorado weather. Because it could be raining, it could be snowing, it could be warm, it could be cold. Like, you just never know. I'm in such agony all the time, and I don't tell people about it because it does no good. I'm 22 years old, and, you know, I have a cane. Like, you know, this this is my friend. Um, I actually named him. His name is Ted. Because I have to deal with this every day. I hurt and burn and feel like I'm dying every day. And I keep getting told by doctors, oh, take this medicine and get your diabetes under control. What they don't understand is I've had diabetes for almost 18 years next May. And I have never been able to get my diabetes under control. Even when I do my shots every three hours and I check my sugar every three hours and I do all this stuff every three hours. I mean... I do everything and I can't seem to get it right. I want to say to all of you suffering from a chronic illness or from fibromyalgia, whatever it is, I'm sorry you have to deal with this. I'm sorry you have to go through this torture. Um, my mom is was diagnosed with fibromyalgia two years ago. And she suffers so bad so often. And I used to think she was just blowing smoke up my butt, you know. You're just making up stories. You're just, you know, whatever. Like, I told my mom the other day, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Because fibromyalgia and neuropathy have their differences. But there is a lot of shit they also have in common. So, I just wanted to kind of make this video real quick to just kind of, you know, give my story. You know, maybe help somebody who might be having some struggles. Let you know you're not alone. There are people out there that will help you, that do care, that may be going through what you're going through um if anybody has any uh, advice on work from home i'd greatly appreciate it um i'm i'm trying to find something to help contribute to my household i don't expect to get the get rich quick schemes or anything um but if you have any questions comments concerns please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i hope everybody has a pain-free wonderful day and if you do have an everyday pain i hope that today it's a little bit less. Um, and thank you for, you know, listening in on my story. See y'all later. Bye.